Uh, uh, what I tend to do is if you have, I tend to classify PCOS into good PCOS, there's no such classification. But I classify them into good, I classify them into bad, and I consider them into horrible. What happens with good PCOS is you, you see ovaries that have a larger antral follicles. These ovaries can stimulate very well. You know, they, don't, they don't have skyrocketing AMH. The LH is 8, 9, 10. You know, these ovaries will always stimulate very well. Your bad PCOS have very small follicles. Very small, you mean between 2 and 4? 2, 4, 5, but it's all variable. But you see a lot, you see antral follicle counts of 20 to 30 in each ovary when you look closely. Logically, this ovaries cannot be stimulated by 150. Try what you want, you won't. And that's why when you see some of the stimulation, 150 doesn't work. It causes ovulation induction. You see two follicles growing. And the question is why? Then we decide, oh, is it the, the drug? It doesn't. It basically means that these follicles will not respond to a lower dose. They'll respond only to a higher dose. Why? Because you have to break the threshold of multiple follicles, not the threshold of one follicle. Here, it's easier to break the threshold of multiple follicles because they are all in one line. Also, you have to remember that a PCO uh, a patient, each follicle is more sensitive. Granular cells are more sensitive. And that's why even when you see somebody with PCO and the response is, you know, eight follicles, estrogen climbs up to 10,000. Now, these are the same patients who, even with lower follicle accounts, will go towards a very hyper stimulation. So it's, it is not just looking at where you give the analog trigger. Do you give analog trigger to only 20 follicles? No. Look at your E2 and see if this woman was a PCO woman. If she was a PCO woman and her E2 levels climbed to 10,000, 12,000, you may say, oh, she may produce only 7 follicles. But even those 7 follicles or 7 oocytes, she'll end up in the hospital with an, with an HCG trigger. And that is very important. And the worst are when you try every protocol and it fails. And I call them the absolutely bad quality of PCOS. And those are the challenges. And what do you do? Do you do ovarian drilling? It's very difficult. We see it once in a while. It's, they're very rare to come across. And you'll never you'll get a poor blastosis conversion. So, you know, next time you scan somebody, have a look at the, these follicles will all be in a range of between 4 and 5 millimeter, which will be similar very easily. Give them 150 and you get 15 follicles growing. Beautiful growth. You get 8 blastosis. Again, given a choice, go for an analog trigger. Why? It's because analog is comparable to nature. It releases FSH and LH. HCG is not, and there's no reason to give HCG if you're not doing a fresh transfer. It doesn't make any sense. Why make somebody uncomfortable when you can give a trigger that is physiologically better for, you know, create, you know, for ovulation, and in those cases, aim to go for an analog trigger. I think you're doing a trial. It's very important that we need, need to know what happens. Because see, in, in my private sector, what I do with an analog trigger is, uh, if I give a trigger at 9 p.m., I do an E2, LH, and progesterone 12 hours later of the analog trigger. Why? Because the peak is faster. It's more faster. In 24 hours, the analog trigger is gone. Nature is 48 hours. So your analog trigger already, the LH activity has been shortened by 24 hours. And what are you looking for? You're looking for an LH more than 15. You're looking for an E2, which is similar to the earlier E2, or slightly lower. Why? Because 
as ovulation approaches, E2 levels start going down <coughs> in nature. And progesterone is the key, I think. And that's the reason why we're doing that study. Is I think if the progesterone is high, you're more likely to get mature eggs. But I may be wrong there, but I've seen in my practice that if your progesterone is high, 12 hours after, high means more than 30, you're more likely to get mature eggs. But that's what we are going to test. <coughs>